Let's go now to the example number two for the dynamic columns. So here is our template for the dynamic columns demonstration and example. We can read that right now we are on a large screen view. So on the right, we have a div with the class of call-lg-4 for four columns. And on the left, we have a div with a class of call-lg-8 for eight columns. So let's see in the source code. We have two different classes on the same div. So first, four columns for the large screen view on the second div, and eight columns for the first div. And we can read also that we have classes for the desktop view. That is, three columns on the left and nine columns on the right. So let's see what happens when we go back to the browser by changing the size of the screen from large to desktop view. The layout has just changed. We now have three columns on the left and nine columns on the right on the second div. I'm going to use another second example a bit more complex because this time we have three different classes on the same div. We use a class for the large screen view. We have 10 columns on the first div and two columns on the second div on the right. Then for the desktop view, we have two divs with six columns each. Finally, for the tablet view, we'll have 10 columns on the right and two columns on the left. Now let's see the results in the browser. First, on the large screen view. On the large screen view, we have a two-column div on the right and a div with 10 columns on the left. And by decreasing the size of the screen, as soon as we reach the breaking point of the desktop view, we now have two divs with six columns on each side. By making the screen even smaller, the div on the left will become much smaller with two columns. Here we go, and then 10 columns on the right. You see that we can create flexible and dynamic layout by using several different classes on the same div. We are moving now to our third example, which is offsetting columns. Offsetting columns means that we can move the div to the right by using a specific class. So that can be whichever class prefix, for example, col-md-offset, and whichever number we want from 1 to 12. This class increases the left margin of a div. For example, if we use the class col-md-offset-1, this means that we're going to move the div further right by one column. In this example, we're using the class prefix col-md specific to the desktop view, meaning that this style will apply to the desktop view and higher, including the large screen view. We have not applied any style and class for the smaller screen sizes. So what happens when we shrink the size of the screen? The default setting will become active and the divs will be stacked on each other, just like this. This was just a quick note about the mobile-first approach, so now back to our offsetting demonstration. On the first line, we have two divs of four columns each, but they are completely set apart. More specifically, they are separated by four columns. And this is achieved by using the class col-md-offset-4, meaning that this second div is further right by four columns. So let's have a look at the source code. So here is the offset class. We can remove it, then save, and reload the page to see what happens. We no longer have the offset class, so meaning that those two divs are now sitting next to each other. Back to the source code, I'm going to revert to the original version and reload the page again. So it's back to before. We are using the class prefix col-md specific to the desktop view, meaning that this layout applies to the desktop and large screen view. We can take this demonstration further by using an offset class for the large screen view. So we're going to copy and then paste. And we're going to replace MD with LG for large screen. And on the large screen offset-4 class, we're going to change the number 4 to 2, meaning that on the large screen view, the second div will be further right by two columns only compared to the desktop view, 
which is going to be further right by 4. So let's see that in action. We're going to reload the page. Right now we are on the large screen view. Here it is. So now the second div is further right by two columns only. And we're going to see that as soon as we decrease the size of the screen, on the desktop view, it's now further right by four columns. On the second line, we have an example with two divs of three columns, and they are further right by three columns each. And we can verify in the source code so we can see our offset class. And just right now, we're going to make a demonstration by changing the number 3 to 0 for each div. And the result is that it's going to cancel the offsetting. So now we see that the two divs are next to each other. There is no space in between. And back to the source code again, I'm going to revert to the original. So back to 3. So right now we're going to make another demonstration for the large screen view. So we're going to use another class of offset specific to the large screen view. So we're going to copy and paste. And we're going to change MD to LG for large screen. And also what we're going to do is changing the number 3 to 1 for each div. Although we're going to make the demonstration for the second div only, so we're going to keep the class only for the second div, we're going to save and go back to the browser and reload. Now we can see that the second div is further right by one column only. And the first div is still further right by three columns because this one applies to the desktop view and large screen view. And if we now remove the offset class from the first div, we're going to save and see what happens. So the first div will be completely further left and the second div will be further right by one column. So let's revert back to the original. The third example on the third line is a div with six columns, which is set in the middle. And this is achieved by using the class of col-md offset and three for the number of columns three, which we can verify by looking at the source code. We will also set a specific offset class for the large screen, and we're going to set it as six meaning that this div will be completely further right on the large screen view. And when we decrease the size of the screen, it's back to the middle because the class col-md offset for the desktop view becomes active. So it is now three columns further right, which we can verify in the source code. We are going to now tackle columns ordering, and that's going to be the example number four. In this demonstration, we are going to see that the grid system allows us to change the order of the divs by using specific classes. On the first line, we have three columns on the left and nine columns on the right. We're going to now have a look at the source code. So here is our first row. So we have our two divs, the first div with nine columns and the second divs with three columns. But that doesn't seem quite right because we can read that the div with nine columns comes first, although this was displayed on the right in the browser. And the div with three columns that was on the left comes second. So how come the order is different? On the first div, the class push will allow the div to be pushed further right by three columns. And on the second div, the class pull will move the div further left by nine columns. So let's make a demonstration by removing the class push and pull. And now let's see the results in the browser. And this is now back to the original order with three columns on the right and nine columns on the left. So we're going to make another demonstration now. So on the second line, we see that we have 10 columns on the left and two columns on the right. This is not what it seems, because we can also read that we have a pull class underneath, meaning that the first div is actually pulled by two columns on the left, and the second div is actually pushed by ten columns to the right. This only concerns the large screen view, because we can see that the class prefix used is colg for the large screen view. So let's see what happens when we change the size of the screen. So when we're going to reach the desktop view, we're going to see that now we have two columns on the left 
and 10 columns on the right, as expected. And to confirm that, let's review the source code. So this is the div corresponding to our second example. As per the code, we expect to see two columns on the left, and this is a class that applies to the desktop view and bigger, and 10 columns on the right. But this has been purposely altered by using a push and a pull. First, on the first div, we have a push by 10 columns to the right, which happens when we are on the large screen view. And then for the second div, we have a pull by two columns to the left. So this is the layout that we're supposed to see, two columns on the left and 10 columns on the right. But then when the screen size gets wider, we're going to see that the two divs will swap. We now have 10 columns on the left and two columns on the right. And that's it for our grid system examples and demonstrations. To learn more, go to getbootstrap.com on the CSS page and find the grid system section. You can also test your knowledge about the grid system by taking the quiz which is available at the very end of this course in the last section under supplementary resources. Good luck!